So a couple things. We have a system of inequalities. That means there's going to be two of them. That what's, that's what makes them a system. So there's got to be two, and we've got to have less than, greater than, things like that. There's infinitely many answers. I'm going to do the first one that comes to me. If I had a quadratic with a vertex at 4 and went over 1, down, over 2, down, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, down, over 2, down, 4, it would look like this. If we shaded below it, we would have the one that we want, 0, 3, and it would not have the other one. Now I just need another system. I'll make the center of the next one at that, and I'll make it be a radius of 1, so it won't hit that same dot. Oh, that's not going to work because it doesn't include the red dot. So I can't have it be that. So instead, I'll have it be here. The center here and a radius of 2. Over 2, over 2, up 2, down 2. And we'll shade inside. And so notice the green area is the area we want, and it includes 0, 3, and does not include 1, 4. Now I just have to come up with the system. The circle we know is x squared, because there's no shift left or right, plus y minus 2 quantity squared puts us up to less than or equal to 4, 2 squared. That is the blue. Now we'll do the green, the quadratic. Well, we have y is less than or equal. Also no horizontal transformation, so x minus 0 squared, or just x squared. Negative opens down, plus 4 is our vertex. Now we have a system. Another way to write that one, of course, would be less than negative x squared plus four.